What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Caitlin. I am currently 20, almost 27 weeks pregnant. Um, in a few days, I'll be 27 weeks. So I have started my baby registry. I've started to buy things already, and some other people have also bought some things already too. So I thought that I would show you what I've gotten and also what is on my registry and things I'm really excited about. I feel like right now, me making videos about my baby and stuff like this is like the most organic thing that I can do because I'm it's just the forefront of my life I'm so excited about her and meeting her and getting prepared for her so also planning to vlog this weekend so my family is coming into town we're doing a bunch of Christmas shenanigan things um so we're gonna be doing that and I thought that I would take you along with me look forward to that but let's get right into the baby stuff Okay, so first I'm gonna show y'all some of the things that we have already gotten. A lot of this stuff we got um, during Black Friday and it was like heavily discounted. So you know that we had to hop on that real fast. First, actually this, we did not get Black Friday. We got this at our farmer's market um, and I just love it. I think it's so cute. My mom actually bought it for us, bought it for her, um, but it's his quilt and it's like super cowgirl style um i'm not like a full-on cowgirl and that's not like the theme that we're going with but i just thought this was like so cute and so texas so had to get this it's our girl coco um but i'll throw a picture right here so you can actually see it better um because it's kind of hard to hold up right here um but yeah this i'm super excited about i think it's so cute and fun and also what we got at the farmer's market my mom got this for us also and it's this cute little santa is coming to dallas book i think this is so cute i love christmas and i just want to collect all of the christmas books for her next um this i'm really excited about we did get this for black friday it is this dream weighted swaddle so they had a buy one get one free sale so we bought the swaddle and then we got like the next size up which is not like a swaddle it's just a sleep sack for free so i've heard so many good things about this i'm very excited and even i like posted about it on instagram because i was so excited and like multiple moms replied and they were like this is the best thing ever and it's like changed our life and our daughter or son like sleeps a million times better with it so i'm hoping that is the case for us as well that our daughter likes it that she sleeps well with it um and so yeah we got the first two sizes and if she does well with it then we will buy the next two sizes but apparently these two are supposed to last up until a year so we'll report back but i'm very excited about this it is from the brand dreamland if you are interested okay next i actually got this one in the mail today very excited about it we ordered this for black friday as well so it was like heavily discounted um which is why we snagged all of these and it is this diaper bag this isn't it this is the bag that it came in so it came in a box and then there's like a moment when you open the box then you open this bag um i don't actually know how to pronounce this dagny dagny and dover we got this backpack we got the large because i don't know i just feel like i know myself i freaking bring everything everywhere you can never be too prepared and this is specifically a diaper bag as well look how cute um but there's like pockets galore like i said it's an actual diaper bag they do have different colors um i got this one because i just like this color i actually wanted this other brown color but that one wasn't discounted and so like i couldn't get myself to do it but so we went with this one um also wanted to get something that it's like a really high quality bag so i'm hoping this will last for a long time we can use it for the next kid um and also something that asher feels comfortable carrying around so i mean look how big it is it's like here's my head here's how big it is so yeah pockets everywhere and then you open it up there's a ton of pockets in there as well um and even on the back this little slit so you can like put it with the suitcase i mean it's just like they knew what they were doing so super excited about this for her next this actually someone gifted us shout out michelle you are the best we freaking love you and miss you um but she gifted us this baby bajorn who actually knows how to pronounce this let me know um baby bajorn whatever 
carrier um and yeah this is just such a good gift i didn't even realize how such of a great gift like i didn't realize how great of a gift this was until just a few weeks ago and i was like looking at stuff and i was just like oh my gosh this is amazing thank you she got of course like the second we figured out we were pregnant and like had told just a few people so she's honestly one of the sweetest humans alive like i said love you miss you and then i'm gonna show you we also got a high chair so here's our high chair it's like super freaking cute and sleek that is one of the reasons i was really attracted to it but also if you're like me at all you do extensive research on just anything that you care about <laughs> And this high chair has amazing reviews. It's also really cute. I got it in the color coconut. And then it also came with this. So the high chair on Black Friday was very beautifully discounted. It was like, I think over a hundred something dollars off. And then you also got all of this for free, which is like $75 worth, apparently. Um, so I'll show you what's in here. But you open it up and, okay, love that. Um, you get all these cute little like things for when she starts eating and doing this stuff. So you have like a little bowl, a little sippy cup, and then this is that. And then these like little silverware, um, and it's all like silicone or like, you know what I mean? It also sticks to the high chair as this like little suction cup. My hands don't work. I would like to say that it's because I'm pregnant, but they never work. I always drop everything. We also got a plate with a suction cup under it as well. And then we also got like these two, is it two or is it one? Yeah, two different like bibs that are silicone and easy to clean, catch things. Love that. So super grateful for all of this stuff and super grateful for Black Friday because we just try to take advantage of it. We had planned for a while to do that. Um, and so I'm really happy with the things that we were able to get really good deals on. Now on to my baby registry. Um, I am a first time mom. Like I said, I think I said that I am a first time mom. Um, so it was kind of fun, but also like, what the heck am I doing when I was building this? I use the website and I also have an app baby list because you can add different things from different websites. Like you don't have to just commit to one like target or like amazon you know what i mean i could put stuff from amazon and target so that was like really attractive to me and so i chose that um and then i basically just have talked to my sister sister-in-law and like done some research to figure out all the things obviously some stuff is like very obvious but i feel like it's easy to just not think of all the things you know what i mean so i have changed this a lot i honestly just have had fun doing it and i send it to ash all the time and he's like okay i highly doubt he looks at it every time that i send it to him but we're just gonna think that he does so here is my baby list um you can also like put things in different sections which i love about that it feels very organized we love that um and so we're gonna start with the general um i did put like these swaddle blankets um they're like 100 percent cotton a i thought they were cute b i thought they'd be perfect to take like on the go when we're not at home napping or whatever um and just like a different option you know every baby is so different so you never know what she's gonna like um but yeah i put those on there of course some pacifiers um I put this little baby brush right here for the obvious, but also that little like, um, not the comb, but the soft bristle one. I've seen a lot of moms talk about like, if you get that and you just rub it on their head or like on the bottom of their feet when they're like upset or whatever, that it actually really helps them calm down. So we're gonna try that and see how it goes. Um, this little hatch rest mini sound machine, every mom that I've talked to ever is, or like listen to, whether in podcast or personally is like get a sound machine get a sleep routine etc so that is that um i kind of like this small little one and it looks like i can can control it from my phone so love that went for that and then just some little cloths obvious reasons and the organic we love that okay baby gear um my sister-in-law shout out laura um told me about the baby jorn bouncer bliss and how it was like a really great like they really use it a lot um and that was on my list before and i honestly just didn't think about it didn't even know about it 
Um, so, and now that she's like told me and that I've added it, I've seen like so many moms and like they have it and seeing that it is, it's something that's like worth investing in. So put that on there. Um, and then the neck next to it, the snuggle me organic bear infant lounger, um, just to have that, like when she's like, if we're sitting on the couch, just, you know, around the house, she can chill there. Um, so yeah, I think that that would be something great to have. Next, this transportation. Sorry, if I'm going a little fast, I just don't want to say anything that's unnecessary because there's quite a bit here. But here, here's the deal. I've done a lot of, or I've attempted to do a lot of research on like strollers and car seats and like what is the best. Apparently, Nuna is the best. I don't know. I've heard a lot about it. Um, and I think the most attractive thing about that is that it's really lightweight, which is really ideal, but it is significantly more expensive than this one that I have here. <laughs> the ones that I've seen are like 500 to $700. I could be wrong, but that's what I've seen. Whereas everything right here, the stroller part, um, the base and the car seat is like 200 something total, maybe 300. Um, so that's kind of what I did here. And obviously we have a little cover. We're wanting to get two bases, one for each car that we have. So it's like easy, you know what I mean? Next we have clothes and accessories. Um, I try not to put a ton on my baby list. I need to do like a lot of skin to skin with her while the first like six weeks, especially when I'm on maternity leave. So I don't know how big she's gonna be when she starts, you know what I mean? When we start dressing her to go out. She's definitely gonna be a bow girl as of right now if she keeps it on and she lets me. I think bows are so cute. Um, and then you'll see a lot of what I have here is just very simple stuff. Um, I like the pale pinks, kind of like the, you know, really muted pinks um, as well as neutral colors. I just think they're so cute. Um, and really simple stuff as well. Personally, I don't really like stuff that has like cutie on it or different characters. That's just not my style. Um, so a lot of this stuff is like very plain or has like little flowers or stripes, uh, but they're very subtle. So that's kind of my vibe in life in general. Um, so yeah, love those cute little, cute little clothes and sets. Next we have feeding. Um, I am planning to nurse her. Um, so we have some breast milk storage bags, obvious reasons, some bibs, um, a nursing pillow and like a little burping rags and then glass bottles. I'm not necessarily married to Dr. Brown to actually, my sister like doesn't prefer that brand, but I don't know. I'm just more of like, I want glass bottles because I am that person and <laughs> I just want glass over plastic. So here we are. Um, okay. Oh, and then also I'm hoping to get like pumps through insurance. So I didn't add any on here. Um, so yeah, diapering. I put this little caddy on here, um, just to have like to carry around the house so we can kind of keep it stocked is my plan. And then like if we're in the living room, it's just in there with us. Or if we are wherever in the house, um, it's just kind of to take around our house. That way it's like really easy and we can change her wherever. Um, a diaper pail because I am deeply passionate about my home not smelling bad. Although it's not like I've ever really walked in a home and being like, oh my gosh, it smells like baby crap. <laughs> but I'm like, why not? You know what I mean? Having that in her room and just keeping it sealed and not having to like walk outside every single time she goes to the bathroom, which is obviously not ideal. Then we have this little portable diaper changing pad um, that I'm hoping to keep in her little diaper bag here. So when we're on the go or wherever, we just change her, do what we need to do. Then we have um, a changing pad cover to put obviously on her changing pad that we are gonna put in her room. Um, Earth Mama Organic Diaper Balm. I like really simple ingredients. Um, this seems like a brand that had that and yeah, they didn't have unnecessary fragrances and stuff. So we went for that. And then as well as you'll see, like the baby wipes that I put on us. I also wanted to get really like as clean as I could baby wipes. Um, also Coterie is a brand that I've heard a lot about as far as it being really like clean and not all this crap and like scents and just different things in diapers that don't need to be in diapers. 
Um, so this I heard is a good brand and then also they are like really solid when it comes to leaking like just really high quality diapers so i put those on there there's this is like a newborn diaper and wipes starter bundle um and then also down here which you'll see i have some for the like different sizes going up um this little thing i heard about from lauren bostick shout out this getting confidential um so she talks a lot about this and how it's, I mean, honestly, it sounds amazing. Like it's in the nursery, it's nighttime, you're changing a diaper, you just wipe your hand, you just swipe your hand over the thing, it opens, you don't have to touch it, you don't have to click anything. It opens, there's a little nightlight, and then you pull out a warm wipe to clean your baby. And then it closes on its own and then the light turns off on its own. It's brilliant. I mean, it's everything that you need for convenience. So I really want that. Um, and then some changing pad liners. Next, we're moving into her nursery, which I'm so freaking excited about. Here's the deal. We're moving in at the end of January because we personally know the people that live in the house that we are renting right now. And they are also having a baby and they are wanting to move into their house. So we are moving into a, another house or whatever um so part of me is just like i just can't wait to decorate her nursery i want to have a nursery for her and just make it beautiful i think it's going to probably take time but i'm just so excited about it so now what we have here is um this dresser dresses are expensive y'all um what the heck but this one is from ikea and it's like one of the cheapest ones that i found as well as right next to it it's removing changing tray that i can put on top they don't match perfectly but close enough you know what i mean i tried really hard to find one but anyways um i really like the size of this one and i think it would go well with the changing like thing on top um and as you'll see you'll kind of see that this is the light wood is what i'm going for um right here is like um is it mobile or mobile that is for you'll see in a second which one i picked out um i changed his chair i did have one that was like this like pale blush pink but anyways long story short i found a cheaper one this one rocks it doesn't have a footstool is my only hesitation but this is the best one that i have found that is the cutest to me and the most affordable but i really want to have a chair in there to be able to sit down and feed her rock her um etc you know what i mean do all the baby things um next we have these really pretty just art this really pretty art um i actually know the lady that paints not paints him draws these um she is from she's not from reading she lives in reading and she is just amazing i'll link her thing below because she also has pictures of like a mom and a baby a pregnant woman like just really stunning art um but i just thought that this would be really special and so this one right here on the left is represented it representative of the holy spirit and the one on the right is is jesus yeah, i just think that they're stunning and i would love to have that in my daughter's room um so that's kind of my thought process with that next we have really boring waterproof fitted crib pad self-explanatory um this little lazy susan um it is a little bit pricey for what that is but i just thought it'd be really convenient or getting something similar to it that i could put next to the changing station and just have the different things that i need possibly right there um i thought these two different sheets were really cute again really pale pink or neutral colors really simple um i i kind of want to have neutral colors throughout but have pops of these different really pink, pretty pinks to tie it all in um okay so next i have this cute little organizer with moons and stars it hangs on the crib not necessary could be cool really cute honestly i just think it's super cute and i could put like little i don't know i could use it for things this baby rocker is so cute i love this i would just love to have this and i think it's really timeless and pretty and i could use it for multiple babies um as well as the activity arch that goes over it um i've seen a lot of people have this it seems like really high quality it is a little bit pricey so that's the only thing but there's kind of a theme with like all of this stuff being pricey so what do you do next the wave crib by nestig here's the deal 
I've looked and I've looked all of the ones that make the most sense to me and the ones that I like this one just makes the most sense to me and the one that I like the most and I'll tell you why I think it's really pretty a B it's a three in one so it actually I don't know if it's gonna let me do it here um, well, you can see it right here, but this is the crib version, but um, it also starts out as a bassinet on wheels, so you can wheel it around, then it turns into a crib, as you see right here, and then you can actually make it into a toddler bed. So, it lasts a really long time. It's multi-purpose, which I love, um, and it's also really pretty to me. So, here is this cute little mobile... Mobile... <sighs> I don't know i think this one's really cute um i love the colors and how it's like kind of going down like this i love this like pink little blanket it is a little bit bright for me but i love the style of it i think it's really cute and also i think it could bring a lot of color into her room whether it's like on the couch i mean on the chair or just somewhere in her room to bring color and then obviously when she gets a little bit older um here we just have a baby organic breathable baby crib and toddler mattress so i really want to get something that's breathable but also um i love that it's like organic and it's not like mattresses can like give off a lot of different like flame retardants and different things um so i wanted to avoid that if possible especially with her being so young um i would love to say it's me being first time mom and it probably is but also i'm just this way in general so yeah here we are our our mattress is like that as well we got one that is all of the things like that next i thought these blankets were cute do does she need three four blankets probably not i just think they're cute and i love having a lot of blankets so i really like the pink one but also the white one is cute as well next health and safety um i saw this today little organic um what is it called sunscreen um spf 50 and it's a little stick um they do have lotion as well but there's a scent in it so i like that this one was unscented um and then right here i saw a mom talking about how this organic gum massage gel was like the only thing that helped i don't even think this mom was like full-on granola like i will be um but yeah this organic gum massage gel said really helped when her baby was teething and really helped soothe her baby next i just found these really cute um toys that are for when she's teething but also can just play with and you know like punch those little things or stack the cups um here's a little teether the little rainbow and a little book a little art thing a rattle a few rattles and teethers so i thought those were really cute just added them and that is my registry so far so i know that that was a lot um but if you're a first time mom as well i would love to know and hear from you i'm due in march like i said i am 27 weeks here in a few days um so if you're expecting mom as well even if you're not a first time mom i would love to hear from you i so this is my last vlog but i just love connecting with other moms i think it's so fun especially moms that are pregnant right now and kind of just experiencing that journey together so let me know um and i can definitely do an update on these things later on once i've actually used them and just seen what she likes um but yeah thanks so much for watching guys i really appreciate you if you haven't already make sure you do subscribe and follow me on instagram at underscore underscore Caitlin Holland. I appreciate y'all so much and I'll see you next time.